Hey, how's it going everyone? Hope you're doing well today. Nintendo appears to be having a pretty good eShop sale going on right now for the holiday season. So if you're looking to pick up some games at a good discount, you might want to check out the eShop right now. In this video, I'm going to give you a few of my personal recommendations for you to check out for yourself. And at the end of the video, as we always do, I'll show you where you can go look to see for yourself if you're getting the best deal for your game purchase. So without any further delay, let's jump right into my recommendations, starting with the Bioshock collection. Bioshock is probably one of if not my favorite game franchise of all time. This is the same collection that was for the PS4 and Xbox One, which includes all three Bioshock games along with their DLC. Now the Switch version does have a little bit of a drop in terms of frame rate and resolution compared to the other last gen systems. But as someone who has played this series on pretty much every platform, including the Nintendo Switch, if you haven't played these games yet, or if you'd like to play these in handheld mode, I would definitely recommend picking this up at $20, it's definitely worth the price in my opinion. Next up, we have Little Nightmares, the complete edition. Now I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I have yet to play this game. It's been in my backlog for quite some time, but I've heard really good things about this game from others who have played it and even better things about its sequel, Little Nightmares 2. Now, as the title says, it's the complete edition, so as you can imagine, you get the vanilla puzzle platformer along with all of its DLC. If you enjoy games like Limbo for only $7.49, it might be worth checking out. For fans of either Lego or the Harry Potter franchise, we have the Lego Harry Potter Collection, which is 80% off right now on sale for just 10 bucks. The Lego Harry Potter Collection includes both games of years one through four and five through seven, and they're actually pretty fun, especially if you're looking to play some local co-op with a kid or a younger sibling. I recently played this with my son and it's a pretty fun time and is actually surprisingly faithful to the series considering its more silly tone. If you've played any of the other Lego games, I'm sure you'll find some enjoyment out of this one. My next recommendation is a bit divisive here, but if you've been waiting to get this game on sale, the Grand Theft Auto Trilogy, the Definitive Edition, is now 20% off, selling for $47.99. Basically, I would recommend this game if you really want to play this game on handheld or if you've never played these games before and you were just waiting for the game to go on sale. Honestly, it's still a pretty buggy experience at times and the Switch port isn't the best compared to the other platforms, but a lot of patches have already been implemented with even more on the way. So now might be the time to check it out for yourself if it's something you are interested in. Last on this list, I just wanted to mention that Square Enix basically has their whole eShop catalog on sale right now. Anything from the Final Fantasy ports and remasters to the collection of Mana, all of these games appear to be on sale at 50% off or greater right now. So if you're really into JRPGs or have any of Square Enix's games on your wish list, go take a look at their catalog on the eShop because there's bound to be something on sale for you to enjoy. And lastly, since we've talked about this many times before in previous sales video, I'll just touch up on this real quick. I definitely recommend that you head over to DekuDeals.com. This isn't a sponsor or anything. It's just a really useful tool that you can use to make sure you're getting the best deal possible during these types of sales. DekuDeals.com is basically just a website that tracks all of the sale prices of different games that you might be interested in. And you can use this information to determine whether or not you think the game might go on sale again, or to see if the current sale price is the lowest sale price that it's been. It also has other cool bits of information like Metacritic score as well as a time to beat score. But yeah, I definitely recommend this site. Check it out to give yourself the most information possible. I'll link it in the description down below. But yeah, that about does it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you as always for watching the video and checking out the channel. If you like this type of content, be sure to help us out by leaving a like on the video. And for any content regarding tech games, movies to anything nerdy in between, be sure to subscribe to Digital Cynics. Have a good one, everyone. We'll see you next time.